The Revolutionary Communist Party, USA or the RCP is a communist party in the United States founded in 1975 and led by its chairman Bob Avakian. Coming out of the New Left, the party organizes for a revolution in the United States and internationally. Bob Avakian's new synthesis of communism is the RCP's ideological framework, which it considers a scientific advancement of Marxism-Leninism-Maoism. The RCP is notable for its various coalition groups, such as the World Can't Wait, Stop Patriarchy, October 22 Coalition to Stop Police Brutality, Stop Mass Incarceration Network, and Refuse Fascism. The RCP organizes supporters into what it calls Revolution Clubs, formerly known as the Revolutionary Communist Youth Brigade, with chapters in Berkeley, Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York City. History In early 1968, H. Bruce Franklin and Stephen Charles Hamilton formed the Bay Area Revolutionary Union after a split in the Maoist Progressive Labor Party stemming from disagreements over the path of the Chinese Cultural Revolution and incipient rapprochement with the West. Bob Avakian led a small group from a split of another Maoist students for a Democratic Society spin off into Baru soon after its formation. In 1971, Franklin led a more militant faction of Baru out the organization to join Venceremos, leaving Avakian in a leading position within Baru. Avakian played a key role in uniting several similar local collectives, with the long-term goal of forming a new communist party. The new nationwide structure induced Baru to change its name to simply the Revolutionary Union Avakian was elected to the Central Committee of the RU shortly thereafter. The RCP claims that of the various groups coming out of SDS, it was the first to seriously attempt to develop itself at the theoretical level, with the publication of Red Papers 1. In 1974, Ruse started publication of their newspaper Revolution, renamed Revolutionary Worker in 1979, and in 1975, Ruse reconstituted itself as the Revolutionary Communist Party. RCP. After the death of Mao in 1976, the RCP lost about 40% of its membership in a 19 1978 split over alignment with the new Chinese leadership. Avakian led the faction that rejected what they considered a counter-revolutionary coup against Mao's allies, and the split left him as undisputed leader of the remainder of the RCP. In January 1979 Avakian and 78 other party members and supporters were arrested and charged with various crimes in connection to a militant protest against Deng Xiaoping's visit to the White House. Seventeen demonstrators, including Avakian, were charged with multiple felonies which would carry a combined sentence of up to 241 years. After the RCP and its supporters waged a mass campaign for political, legal, and other support for the defendants, the charges were dropped in 1982, by which time party leadership had decided to go into exile, with Avakian applying for political asylum in France, where he remained for many years. The RCP organized May Day 1980 rallies in 16 cities across the U.S., including in Los Angeles, New York, Portland, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. Weeks before the May Day demonstrations, RCP member Damian Garcia and two others climbed the Alamo, tearing down the American flag from its pole, and raising the red flag in its place before being arrested. Shortly thereafter, on April 22, 1980, Garcia was stabbed to death while organizing in a Los Angeles housing project. At the time, police said that Garcia's murderer was gang-affiliated, while RCP insisted that he had been assassinated by the state in retaliation for his action at the Alamo. Avakian remarked in his memoir that Garcia's murder was "...very clearly tied in with police agents less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it was an attack on our party in 1983 avakian was one of the founders of the now defunct revolutionary internationalist movement rim an international grouping of maoist parties the rim published a world to win news service from 1981 to 2006 but since its dissolution the publication is now updated on the official website in 2017 a world to win was restructured too a more thorough-going tool for revolution based on Bob Avakian's new synthesis of communism. RCP branches opened revolution book stores in major U.S. cities and became a presence in protest movements. Flag burning by RCP members led to the Texas v. Johnson case. 
RCP regarded the 1992 Rodney King riots as legitimate political rebellion and advocated for the defendants in the Reginald Denny beating case. RCP advocated for international Maoist movements such as the Shining Path guerrilla movement in Peru. Topic: <laughs> Bob Avakian's leadership. After major splits in the party, some ex-members and other groups have alleged that the RCP has a cult of personality around Bob Avakian. Mike has called it a communist doomsday cult that is obsessed with Avakian. Alternately, San Francisco Chronicle has written of Avakian as the marathon man of the international anti-imperialist struggle. The party has responded to these allegations, calling them lies and slander and complete and utter nonsense. Saying Bob Avakian and the RCP are the exact opposite of a cult. The party today The RCP releases daily updates online and a periodic print edition of its weekly newspaper, Revolution formerly called Revolutionary Worker, 1979-2005 which is published in English and Spanish and has been published continuously since 1979. In December 2016, party members and others co-initiated Refuse Fascism, a coalition group opposed to the presidency of Donald Trump. The statement was used by Infowars and other far-right conspiracy theory websites to claim that RCP and Refuse Fascism were organizing a military overthrow of the government on November 4, 2017. Several anti-Trump protest marches were organized for that day, which passed without incident. <laughs> 